Hello, this is Tim from Your Six Studios today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your uh, graphics card fan just a little bit quieter. Uh, so, depending on your model of graphics card, you might have a little switch like uh, that says quiet mode Q or performance mode P on it right near the connector uh, to power it on. So, depending on your version, like 5070 or something like that, you should have a quiet mode option. Otherwise, you might have to do this with software. So I am using MSI Afterburner, so just open up you know, your web browser and go to google.com and type in MSI Afterburner, download it, the first link should be good. So you can see. So once we get the software, we have the ability to monitor the temperature. So download this to your computer, that's what this little thing is. For some reason, it doesn't scale very well on my computer. I'll have to increase the scaling for 4K but it's going to be a little window for me. So you might have to get your spectacles on or uh, increase the scaling for your uh, computer. Now, go down to these little two options, automatic or user defined. Make sure you have user defined clicked. So you can read the description if you just let it sit. Enables user defined software control for your fan. Okay, so make sure this is clicked. And you might have the option to uh, just drag it in. But once that's uh, clicked, and the other one is automatic, allows control of master GPU fan. Okay, go to settings. Now under settings, uh, we can go to uh, start up with Windows. Go to fan. Enable. Oh, you can't see. Let me go down. Enable user defined software controls. So check mark here, and then we should have the option to adjust the fan percentage at certain uh, temperatures. So we want to go down to the bottom now, so you can see custom, you'll probably be under default, switch it to custom so you can edit this. And the left is going to be for your fan speed and your right is going to be temperature down here. So you want to adjust this and kind of like flatten this curve so it's probably pretty sharp going up like this. So you want to just flatten this out a little bit. And you might want to look up the... Uh, temperature maximums for your GPU usually around 70 to 80 is when you want to make sure this is getting kicked in pretty good like 70% fan speed so the idle speed is going to be pretty much idling um, up until about 30% uh, 30 Celsius for me it'll be at about 28 and then I have it kicking in just a little bit more all the way up to 50 Celsius is going to be still around 40% and then from 40, uh, 50 Celsius all the way to, it uh, looks like about 65 Celsius is going to be at 50% and then it's going to really kick in after that. So usually your fan is going to be loud until it starts really ramping up to about 50 to 60 percentage. So you can just flatten this curve by adjusting this and you can add little things to here too. So you can just adjust it. Otherwise, there is an option, I believe, to just reset this. Just go back to the default, apply it. And then you can just go back to custom and mess around with it. And I can lower this now. I don't need it ramping up that high right away. Mine usually stays cool. And then I'm just going to do something like this so it flattens a little bit so it's not as loud because this is, mine is really loud. And that should be something good, a little bit better. And I can monitor the temperatures, make sure it doesn't get too high. Now you do have these options down here at the bottom, force fan, uh, force fan speed update on each period. Override zero fan speed with hardware curve. So if your fan's not kicking in at all, it's not spinning, you can override zero fan speed with hardware controls. Otherwise, if you have really good system fans, you can rely on your system fans and you can bring down your temperatures uh, and your percentage right here so it's not even loud whatsoever. You could put at zero up until like, I don't know, like 40 Celsius and then all of a sudden have it slowly gradually kick in. So just adjust it the way you want. And hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below.